Um, and yesterday I cooked up some gorgeous roasted vegetables, which was an aubergine. We've got um, a sweet potato, we had a couple of garlic bulbs, a brown onion, and also a potato. And I just roasted, cut them all up in one centimeter bits and roasted them um, in some olive oil. So what I thought I'd do with these is something very, very simple. So going to grab all these little veg. We need to have some phyllo pastry. So we're just going to put our veggies into here. I roasted my garlic um, just in their bulbs and I'm just going to squeeze out the insides. It's all caramelized. Just had about three or four of these. We're going to add a packet of feta cheese into here. And just crumble it up with your fingers. So just crumble, mix this through, all this crumbled feta. And then we're going to add a nice bunch Dill. Just take all these off. Some salt and pepper as well, and then that's it. Super easy, great. Right, um, we're cooking this um, for our lunch today. Um, you can also put these in the freezer and just take them out. And just, just reheat them. Okay, so I'm put that into here. Bit of salt and pepper. We're going here. Oops. And I'm just going to finish that off with a little bit of lemon zest. A little bit of. Because I put lemon zest in everything. That's just what I do. Of course you could put some red pepper in here if you like. Some chili flakes. A little bit of pesto. Whatever, really. We've got a little bit of butter about 100 grams of butter that we're going to melt. We need a pastry brush and we need a packet of phyllo pastry. That's what we're going to use to wrap our filling in. So phyllo, if you haven't worked with it before, it's quite delicate, so just gently unravel. sometimes have a damp tea towel that I'll leave over the top with a um, piece of baking paper so it doesn't dry out. If, so just take one sheet and we'll place it here. So we've got some melted butter and we're just going to very gently go over the top of this sheet of pillow pastry. I'm just going to turn once this way. There you go. And give it another little dab with the butter. Helps it stick all together and become all flaky and delicious. I'm going to take one spoonful of this mixture and put it into the corner closest to you. Okay. So there's about a, a good tablespoon in here. And then we're going to just roll it from edge to edge. Let me see this. So we can... To here. 
so that's forming a triangle so pat it down a little bit and we're going to go up this way and my fillet pastry is falling apart as we speak that's all right over to this side and close it up this side and then wrap this side so if you've got any little bits that are left over i usually just give them a tiny bit of a cut and then we have either dark sesame seeds and light sesame seeds here so give it a little paint over the top a little sprinkle and that is ready to go into the oven These have been in for 20 minutes at 180 and they can be served now to the table just with a great big green salad. You could put like a, toma a nice tomato sauce with these as well, it would be great. Or you just eat them as is because they're gonna be super delicious. <laughs> 